setting up an LG Smart TV with WebOS is easier and more fun than ever thanks to the arrival of Beanbird, star of these colorful and simple to understand graphics. When you first power up the TV, point the remote at the Beanbird and click to wake him up. From there, answer these basic questions. Where are you will determine the TV's language, location, and time zone. Click OK and you'll see this confirmation screen. Next, it's time to get connected to the internet. Pretty straightforward, but we'll cover this in its own video as well. Make a mistake and you'll see this screen. Otherwise, you'll come to this screen. You also have the option to skip this step. Out of the box, your LG Smart TV defaults to an energy saving mode, which you can switch off. It also assumes that the TV is for home use. Then it'll ask you how you get your TV service, so click on this question and then on the choice that best describes your setup. Lastly, enter your zip code to expedite the configuration of your particular service. If you use a set-top box, plug it in now, then tell the TV which port it's connected to by clicking the correct option. Next, click on the name of the company providing your TV service from this drop-down list. Then select the manufacturer of your set-top box, followed by the type of remote control. On the next screen, you'll be given the chance to confirm that this is the right remote control setting. If you're able to change the channels on the set-top box using the LG Smart TV remote, click It Works. If not, click Not Working, which will first take you to this screen, which presents some troubleshooting suggestions, then brings you back to the set-top box setup screen so you can make any adjustments, most likely to the remote type, and then this confirmation screen. If you're using an off-air antenna, you'll also need to scan for your local channels. Take a look at the legal agreement, then click Next. We encourage you to read the Terms of Use and Privacy Policy before clicking Agree, or you can review them later at your convenience. Again, some of these steps allow you to skip ahead, but not all the features will be available to you until you properly complete all of the steps. Finally, you'll come to a summary page that lists which steps you've completed and which not. So go ahead and click Done, keeping in mind that you can access these tasks anytime in the future via the Settings app.